I'm Amy. I'm Laura. And we are Two Paper Girls. Today we're doing our September wrap up. We've had varying degrees of goodness this month. It's been a bit of a busy month. I don't know where it's gone. I'm sure we said that about August as well. I'm sure we were like, where's August gone? Nothing happened. And now it's October tomorrow or today, depending when you're watching this. So that's scary. So we're going to show you what books we read this month. The first thing that I read this month is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. It actually took me a really long time. I'm a fan of Woolf and this is like the third book of hers that I've read. I didn't enjoy it as much as The Waves Into the Lighthouse purely because it was quite difficult to understand. It all takes place in like one day, which I should have expected from Wolf. Mm. But I really, really ship Clarissa and Peter. I just love them so much and I really like her character. It just feels like a bit to the lighthouse because it's just a dinner and it just feels a bit strange. I didn't really get the connected storylines, which is like the main mm. thing, but I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like extremely good. So I gave it like three stars. The first thing that I finished reading this month was a graphic novel called The New York Four by Brian Wood and Ryan Kelly. Uh, this was pretty good, I got this from the library. Um, it was actually a really good read, all the characters were like really well thought out and they had a really good friendship and I like the whole setting of like them all figuring themselves out in New York and everything. But I think I only gave it like three and a half stars because the art was all black and white and I kind of prefer a bit more colour and a little bit more style to it, it looked quite bland. Um, but also the ending just kind of, it just ended really weirdly. Um, I suppose, not really a spoiler, but the main character is kind of set a little while ago. So she has a phone and she gets like a guy randomly texts her and they kind of become boyfriend and girlfriend even though she doesn't know his name and they've never met. And it's like, this is a blast from the past of like internet safety or whatever. And then like you find out who it is and it all gets wrapped up and whatever. And then it ends on New Year's Eve and then suddenly she just gets another text from him and it ends and it's like, what? Like everything all resolved and then I don't know if it's meant to have a sequel. It was just a really strange like sort of cliffhanger ending but also just kind of like how would he even get her number like she swapped numbers. What? It was just a really weird ending which I don't know if that's a massive spoiler. I don't think it is because it's just like a short graphic novel. You can't really spoil it. So I would recommend this but it's strange. The next thing I read I'm really excited about, On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher. If you've watched our channel you know that we went to meet her at her book signing in Birmingham with Carrie's and we had the best night and it was, it was so, so good. good. It was so lovely. This book was absolutely amazing. We're filming today, this is like movie magic, we're filming our Great British Bake Off book tag. And the last question is what is your favourite book of the year? And this is a contender. I loved it so much. It gets five out of five stars. It does have its problems with every good book that you absolutely mm. love. It, you don't give a shit. It's yeah. so good <laughs> and I love it to pieces. So beautiful. I love Carrie. I could just go on forever about this oh. book. <laughs> the next thing I also finished was another graphic novel from the library. If you watch my tea bar, you know I had like five due back in the library. I only managed two of them because just didn't read very much this September. But anyway, I read Doctor Who Volume 1 for the 10th Doctor called Revolutions of Terror by lots of people. I can't remember, there was like five people. I didn't actually really like this. I gave it two stars because it was just, the art was okay. Um, and I kind of liked the new companion character they introduced. She was pretty cool and had like, I liked all her family dynamic, but I don't know, it just fell flat. The Doctor didn't feel like the Doctor. I think that was the biggest problem with it. He just didn't talk and act like I think the Tenth Doctor does. So that was just really off-putting that he felt really out of character. And then the storyline was just a bit ridiculous. Like, it would have been cool as an episode, I think, but to read, it's like, oh my god, a monster's come out the washing machine. I was like, really, bitch. Um, I mean, it did turn out to be like a very cool, creative monster, which, like I said, would make a really good episode. But in the graphic novel, it was just kind of like, Mleh. And I was actually skimming to finish it just because I just wasn't a big fan. Um, I know they're doing like series for each Doctor. So I might pick up like the Matt Smith one if I see it, but this hasn't given me a good impression of these of this little graphic novel series. The next thing I read is Outcast by Robert Kirkman, who does the Walking Dead series. I'm getting really into this. I haven't watched the series yet because I want to read these first. It's all saved on my television at home with like the little box. And I can't wait to watch them. I watched the first one and it was alright, but I'm getting really into this now. It's difficult to connect with new characters because... You just get so attached to like Kirkman's old stuff and then it brings new stuff out. Like I'm not a big fan of Fear the Walking Dead because I'm just like nothing can change the way I feel about Rick. But this is a really, really good story. It's getting creepier and creepier and I'm getting more attached. So hopefully it just keeps going and I keep getting more attached. 
If you watch my TBR, you know that I tried reading Winger in August and uh, didn't really get into it because I got all distracted by Vicious. I got distracted by some good book. The men, I wasn't really in the mood for Winger, but I thought, no, I really want to finish it. But I did actually DNF it. Um, I didn't really try to get any further, though. I just wasn't in the mood to pick it up at all. And I was like, I don't want to force myself to read something that I don't want to read. So I put it aside for now. Then I picked up Illuminae. Then I met Carrie. And then I picked up On the Other Side, which I'm currently like halfway through. But the last thing I actually finished this month, because like I said, it was an abysmal month for me was The Tempest by William Shakespeare, which I have to read for my course. We have a um, autumn semester reading list slash TBR coming up on Wednesday, I think. So uh, we'll talk more about this in that. But yeah, this is one of the first plays I have to read. Um, we've actually had to study it in first year, but I never actually finished it. And now I have actually really enjoyed it. I found it very just like magical. I really like the themes of like magic and power and slavery and all that kind of stuff. It had a lot in it even though it was very short, it like packed a punch. The ending was very like convenient and wrapped up quickly and there were some weird bits where I was just like what? What is this? But uh, overall I really enjoyed it, I gave it four stars. The next thing I read was Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. I was quite excited to read this because I thought, oh, it's going to be good, it's creepy. And I read it in like an hour and I was just a little bit underwhelmed. It was it was a good story, but I didn't like love it or hate it. It was just kind of like, yeah, it's all right. It, I, think, I think it was just a bit like, it was a fairy tale, wasn't it? That makes sense mm. now, I just realised. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of fairy tale retellings, that explains that. I think I gave it three out of five stars. The next thing I read, I don't actually have. I read the 19th volume of Attack on Titan. It was so good. I am so excited. I don't really know what I'll say about this series because I'm like 19 volumes in now. It's like going really, really well and it's brilliant and we're waiting for the dubbed version of the series to come out soon because I can't wait for series two. And yeah, it was brilliant, five out of five stars. The second to last thing that I read was A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. Really, really, really liked it. It took me a while to get into it and at the start I just didn't really feel anything towards it. And then by the end I was like, this is the best ending. Sarah J Mass is like slow, mm -hmm. slow, slow ending. Yeah. But like she's good at endings. It's so good. But I really love the characters. She's good at character development. And I'm just really excited to read a call of Mist and Fury. I gave this book 4.5 stars out of 5 because I really enjoy it. <laughs> And the last thing that I read was The Tempest by William Shakespeare. Me and Laura are doing the same course, and Shakespeare is like, I do like it, and I like Hamlet a lot, and Macbeth, but it's not really my massive thing. But Tempest, on its second read, I really, really like it now. Before I was like, Neh. and now because we're going to see it at the RSC, mm. it's my first time going in December, I'm really excited to get into this, and I'm really enjoying it so far, I think give it about four out of five stars. So that's it for our September wrap up. I wasn't too happy with how I did but I have high hopes for October. Amy did great as Thank always. <laughs> so let us know down below in the comments what you've been reading this month and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Well, I laughed and then stopped. You go. <laughs> I'm all stumbled. I'm reading and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh no! Do you want to do that again? Yeah.